Hey guys, it's Kathy. And Brian. And we're going to talk really quickly today about the newest news that's coming out about Disney. And we've talked about this before, about the cancel culture and the relationship it has with Disney. And they've changed Flash Mountain. And I said in a vlog last week or the week before, what's going to be next? And I mentioned the Hall of Presidents. So here's an article from Orlando Weekly. And it says right here, see, this is a very dangerous, slippery slope. No matter where you fall politically, um, when you start giving in to um, people, sometimes they it never seems to end. They want the next thing to be removed. And I think companies need to take a stand at some point and stop giving in to the cancel culture. Mm -hmm. Disney World fans want to replace ruined Hall of Presidents with Hamilton. Okay, so this is going to lead us to our next topic we're going to talk about, because Hamilton is apparently a problem, too. Well, you know, with the Hall of Presidents, the Hall of Presidents movie has, even when they updated it, has been mostly about the Civil War, slavery, ending slavery. Oh, it was? So okay. I, I think they address it at the Hall of Presidents pretty like no openly secret. and well. Right, there's no secret about it. We all know the history here. Um, it says here, with most Americans still at home, Disney's quick move to add Hamilton to streaming service Disney Plus was a genius move. But many fans are not are now asking Disney to embrace the once-in-a-generation Broadway historical phenomenon in a far more tangible way. Um, it says here, it's no secret that the company has had issues with Hall of Presidents attraction at Disney World's Magic Kingdom. I never knew there were issues with Hall of Presidents until President Trump was in it. Then it yeah. became a problem for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, I never heard of it being a problem before. Um, it says, after years of heckling from the crowd, Disney added ornamental spikes to the edges of the stage. Did you know that? No. And additional no security. That still wasn't enough to stop hecklers from disrupting the show. What, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean spikes? It says... Disney added ornamental spikes to the edge. I, I mean, were people storming the stage? Are the spikes part of the security? Like, yeah. if you try to climb it? Yeah, with additional security. Happiest place on earth. That still wasn't enough to stop spikes. hecklers from disrupting the show in a video that went viral just days after Trump animatronic was unveiled. Well, okay, whether you like Trump or not, and I know a lot of people don't like Trump, this looks nothing like him. It's a very poor animatronic of him and and um they did use hillary's body i know that because somebody i know works at disney in corporate and told me this was true after the election that they thought hillary was going to win and they basically of course it's not a good likeness of hillary either they basically took what they started with as hers and turned it into trump so i don't care how you feel about a president they need to at least make a decent likeness of yeah. the person um, and that I, talks I rem about this. I remember when Bill Clinton was being added to the Hall of Presidents, people were joking around, I wonder if he'll have a Big Mac in his hand. Why? Because, because he used to go to McDonald's oh, all the well, time. anyway. But at least it looks like Clinton. Um, yes, Since President Clinton's addition, a custom address recorded by the president has been part of the attraction. Trump is the fourth to have this. And it talks about how people did not, you know, rip the likeness. Even people that don't like him say it doesn't look like him. Third party theme park review site Touring Plans. Oh, I love Touring we, we Plans. We follow Touring Plans. Has yeah. noted that its readers have consistently ranked the attraction below even temporary attractions such as dance parties. And the site quotes a reader review, which calls the Hall of Presidents a great place to breastfeed. Touring Plans itself notes, skip the Hall of Presidents if you'd rather not be reminded of politics on vacation, blah, blah, blah. So now it says fans are calling on Disney to replace the hot button attraction with one inspired by Hamilton. If that happened, it would be allow it would allow the land to remain the same. But recent accusations of Hamilton being problematic could derail the idea. So now we're going to get into that in a minute because that's well, becoming a problem. You know, listen, the thing with the presidents, presidents have, well, the Mr. Lincoln attraction has been at Disneyland forever. That's like an original Walt. At Disneyland? Yeah, Disneyland. Okay. That's a, an original. Now, and, and presidents have been involved at Disney World forever. And I'll just tell you a couple of quick ones. Ronald Reagan was at the grand opening of Disneyland. He, right. he was still an actor then. Right. But if you go on YouTube and watch the original grand opening of Disneyland with Walt Disney, Ronald Reagan was there. Uh, Richard Nixon 
was at Disneyland when he was vice president. Yeah, he was at Disney World. Well, both. He yeah. was at Disneyland when he was vice president, uh, Richard Nixon, and took off on the monorail without his Secret Service. There's a famous story about that. And Richard Nixon, th- his very famous speech, their president's not a crook, he gave at the Contemporary Hotel at Walt Disney World. So well, presidents have a lot of connections well, to Disney World. Well, we know World. Disney was... It, that Walt was very patriotic, and this is an original attraction at both parts. They have a Hall of Presidents Disneyland, right? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. So this, so this was not at Disneyland, but this was. They have the Mr. Lincoln attraction. Okay, so this was this ride uh, or attraction a conception of Walt's? Was it something he? Oh yeah, absolutely, he absolutely. Was, he was very, you know, they have that whole area of the colonial area, and um, they have yeah. the Liberty Tree and all this stuff. So I don't think Walt would agree with this move at all. No, and. See, a lot of people don't know this. You can find this on YouTube. When Michael Eisner was running Disney, he actually had at Epcot Center, at the American Pavilion, President Reagan came to Epcot and uh, had his second inaugural swearing in at Epcot Center in front of the American Pavilion. And if you go on YouTube, you can watch it. So presidents have always been a part of yeah Disney. So for people to say now there shouldn't be politics, it's always been kind of a part. I don't think Walt or Disney mean it to be political. It's just to honor the office of president of the United States. So now yeah. I told you guys this a week or so ago, they were going to go after the Hall of Presidents. And this is what I said, how it happens. Somebody posts something on Reddit or they tweet something and then the next thing you know, um, somebody in the news who who feels the same way runs with it, and they make it a story. And then the next thing you know, there's petitions and calls. So now that Hamilton is on, so we'll see if Disney caves once again and yeah. gives in. I cannot imagine. I I did say that I I figured they would change Splash Mountain, and I was right. I said on the show that I said they're going to change it. You know, this all started. I can't imagine them getting rid of this. This stuff. all started with replacing the redhead with the redheaded pirate. Yeah, that maybe. was the that was the slippery slope. That's the slippery slope, and uh, you know that's the problem when you give in to whatever side, any kind of mob rule or mob mentality. It's never enough. It's never enough. That's why these companies. I understand making certain changes and this and that, but you have to take a stand at some point. And when you went to see the Hall of Presidents last time, was it really crowded? Do people seem to still appreciate it? Um. No, it wasn't crowd. About half full, you know. And it, you know, I find the Hall of Presidents is busiest during the hot summer months because it's oh, air yeah. conditioned, and you can go in there and get a lot of air conditioning for well, a long time. They'll just replace it with another show. They're so, not going to replace the Hall of Presidents. Well, that's what they're talking. No okay? way. So if I don't, I can't see them doing no a Hamilton way. inspired. Hamilton wasn't wasn't even a he was a um, he wasn't even a big. You know, and, not like a president. You know, or a cool thing about the Hall of Pre- the Hall of Presidents is always cool, but it changes every four or eight years when you get a new president. So well, it's always being updated, and it's it's they're not going to come on. I would I, be shocked. Well, I I Disney is a liberal left liberal leaning company. I wonder if any of this has to do with them with Trump. They don't want Trump a part of this attraction for the rest of well, the a lot of the, and the fact that he's there might bother them and maybe this is their way well, some of these, to get rid of this. Some of these presidents own slaves. Yeah. I so mean, that's, they should that's have a bigger problem from. then with Washington and, and Jefferson than they do with Trump, if that's the case. I, I never remember anyone really complaining about the Hall of Presidents no. until the Trump animatronic was added. Well, yeah, and now with um, everything going on with statues and all this stuff with Black Lives Matter and everything going on in the news, um, th- this is becoming an issue for people, um, presidents who owned slaves. But so I, that, that might be at the core of what's going on here. I'm sure a lot of people did. I watched Hamilton over the weekend. We watched it together on Disney+. Plus, and I told you this weekend that... Uh, Twitter was going to start going yeah. after Hamilton, you were right. and the cancel culture was going to want to cancel out Hamilton. And sure enough, boom, they're doing it. It says right here, this just came out in the Sun, the U.S. Sun, which is a great um, uh, periodical or online thing. Racist buffoonery calls for Hamilton to be canceled, as critics say it's revisionist history. 
to make white liberals feel good. Well, I'm not going to get into the politics of liberal or conservative, but it says here just days after, and it's true, when we watched Hamilton Friday, you said to me, somebody is going to want this removed. They're going to yeah. have an issue with this because Hamilton was not a president, but he was the treasury secretary of George Washington, and he was very good friends with George Washington. And this, we watched this uh, musical, which I think is a little too long, um, it's okay, but it's very long. Um, and it really tells a lot of that, their relationship. George Washington is played by a black actor and most of the cast is played by minorities. Um, it says here, just days after Broadway hit Hamilton appeared on Disney plus the internet has been flooded with calls to hashtag cancel Hamilton over the founding father's history and the slave trade. He was considered a founding father. Mm -hmm. And as you know, Hamilton died in a duel with, um, Aaron and Burr. Um, who was vice president under Jefferson for one term. Um, it says here, the calls to cancel the show stem from its positive portrayal of Alexander Hamilton, which critics saying that the founding father's work in the slave trade is completely glossed over in Lin-Manuel Miranda's musical. So nothing is safe from the cancel, cancel culture. With a renewed focus on racial injustices in the United States, led by the Black Lives Matter movement, those in the Cancel Hamilton Club are asking how the musical, which portrays the Founding Fathers as flawed but ultimately good men, managed to escape public scrutiny before. Well, that's a good question. Hamilton has been on Broadway for, what, five years? Mm -hmm. It's a huge hit, an absolute phenomenon on Broadway. You have a majority-minority cast. So most of the cast is African-American, Some the main guy is Puerto Rican, and there's a few Caucasians in here. The tech cast is extremely talented. Uh, amazing singers and actors. The production's incredible um, with the original cast, but it is a story about a white guy mm -hmm. and all mostly white guys. Some of them own slaves. You have Washington and here, here. So why was not this a big deal five years ago? Why is it all of a sudden? I mean, this was the toast of the town. All you hear, people were dying to get tickets, dying to go see Hamilton. $500 a ticket. You couldn't get in. Celebrities yeah. were going. Even Mike Pence went to go see it. This was a big deal. And now all of a sudden, in the last few weeks, this is a problem. Because the cancel culture is taking down all these statues. But I got to tell you, all the hype about – how much does our, our Disney Plus subscription cost? Um, like 11 12 bucks a month. I'm glad because if I would have paid $500 a ticket, I would have been very <laughs> disappointed. It is – it's okay. I like uh, – my – my favorite characters in it, the guy that plays Thomas Jefferson is amazing. And the king. And the king's amazing. King George. This uh, Disney Plus production, by the way, it's the original cast. They filmed this five years ago. Okay? So it's original cast. The guy that plays Washington was, was very good. I think it's probably one of the most overrated Broadway productions in history, at least out of the I ones don't, I don't I've if seen. I go that far, but. Out of the ones I've seen, it's okay. Uh, the second half's a lot better than the first half, but well, very overrated. It says I think. here, yeah, I, I agree. It's well, I think the expectations were so high. I don't remember one song so to, to sing along to now. Tell us what you that. guys think of Hamilton. It says here, Hamilton was a slave trader. Tear down the statues now and cancel Hamilton. This is what some guy wrote on Twitter. So this is how things happen. Somebody writes a tweet or puts it on Reddit. And all of a sudden, it gets picked up. I, I I don't know when Twitter became news. All of a sudden, it gets picked up by The Sun, which is a very popular national worldwide publication. This They write an article about it, and then Disney starts panicking. And then the next thing you know, Disney takes it off. The play does appear to get some aspects of Hamilton's history wrong. Hamilton was not an abolitionist, according to historian Annette um, Gordon Reed. While he doesn't appear to own any slaves himself, he did trade slaves for his in-laws, and opposing slavery was never at yeah. the top of his agenda. Hamilton was not a champion for the little guy, as the show portrays, according to Gordon Reed. Well, here's the thing, guys. Everything in Hollywood is romanticized. It's Hollywood. It's not real life. It's a musical. It's not an actual portrayal. If you want to learn about Hamilton, read a book. Read a history book. There's a really good one um, by... Um, Ron Cherno, and he wrote, yeah. that's what a lot of this play is based on. He wrote a book on George Washington, which I'm reading now. He's He wrote the book on Grant that they based the Leonardo DiCaprio documentary on. Read a book if you want to learn about Hamilton. You're not going to learn about Hamilton from a Broadway show. 
While many people are jumping on the cancel Hamilton train, many others took to Twitter to defend Miranda's play and to denounce the current obsession with doing away with any art. You know, this is amazing. You have a play that features predominantly African-American people, very talented, and now people want to take it off Disney Plus and possibly cancel the show, the running of the live show. What does that mean to the black community when you have a cast that's predominantly black? Yeah. It's it's a very confusing thing to me. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think about this. Um, like I said, it is not an actual portrayal of history. It is a play. Just like Gone with the Wind is not an actual portrayal of what life was like in the South. It is a movie. Movies are romanticized. Movies are not real. And I really am getting fed up with people canceling things and deleting things or taking things off platforms because it upsets somebody or because it, it means something to somebody else. It's getting a bit ridiculous here. So now you're seeing a problem with well, Hamilton. Well, you know, Disney really made a big mistake, okay? The problem they're having with Hamilton is because they released it now with all this statue removal stuff. If... They filmed this five years ago. If they would have held on to it for another six months or a year, this would all be over and no they, one would think about it. I think they released it now because I think they thought people would have an opposite reaction. I think they yeah. released it now thinking this can yeah. bring people together. This can unify people. Yeah. Black and white come together on this story. It's had the opposite effect. I'm sure Disney is scratching their heads like, you know, everything we do is wrong. They have to take a stand and they have to stop giving in to the masses, or not yeah. even the masses, giving in to these groups online that are basically demanding, well, they, just stand your ground, Disney, stand well, your ground. Well, Disney is having lots of bad luck, right? They got Hamilton, Splash Mountain, Hall of Presidents, they... Yeah. Uh, Tom oh, Sawyer's Island will yeah, be next. Yeah, they overcharge people. Yeah, with we the, got overcharged with the passes. last week. You know, you know, with the uh, annual passes the other day. So they're just Disney's just had, and they've been closed for months. Yeah. So Disney's having a twenty twenty is is a bad year for Disney <laughs> for everybody. It's yeah. a bad year for all yeah. of us. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. We really wanted to talk about these two stories with you. Get your opinion. You know how we feel. Tell us what you guys think. Are you sick of the cancel culture? What do you think of Hamilton? Should Disney delete it from its platform? What do you guys think? We really want to know. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.